Hello and welcome back to the dual commentaries for the Spike Zonotic Dual Cup 2021, uh, 2022, January. Uh, we have Shipyard versus Hot Dog. We are on Final Rage. Well, let's go. Starting out, Hot Dog goes up to the height. Shipyard going to be able to pick up a couple of items, but neither player really having many weapons, both just having one of the main ones but hot dog with that Hagar able to do a lot of damage to shipyard and blows himself up incredible uh, hot dog well known for team killing and blowing himself up <laughs> so it's all fine but manages to make up for it resets the score to 0-0 zero, zero. it's fine we'll restart we won't worry about it We'll carry on. Hot Dog is making some hard pushes here. Pushes well in. Takes a bit of damage for it, but gets a lot out. And it's a mutual frag. Both of them are going to be able to see that the item's been spawned. But Shipyard's going to get the closest spawn. Get to it. Both players running very awkwardly. You can tell when someone's nervous. And their ability to move around the map just completely goes out the window. Uh, shipyard will now resume to quite nice movement, actually. I've uh, watched a couple of Shipyard's demos now, commentated them. You should check them out. They're very good. Good games. And, uh, yeah, has nice movement. Nice, clean, smooth movement. Which potentially isn't the best thing, because it may get you uh, killed more than anything else. But Hot Dog able to connect. Oh, that's a beautiful rocket. That's a stunner of a rocket. Hot Dog connecting those rockets together. Getting the frag. And now Shipyard unable to find armor, unable to find health. Going to be looking to find something rather soon here. Hot Dog could be able to take uh, a nice early lead. Tied on the scoreboard at the minute, but Hot Dog certainly has the advantage. Has both the Mega items at the minute. With Shipyard unable to know the timing. Is going to pick up the timing on that, that one, but not going to be able to pick up the second timing. Assume going to be waiting around, potentially willing to spend a health on finding out the item timings on both items. If you're willing to spend one frag on that, that's not a bad thing to do because it will help you for the rest of the game. But he's going to back out. Then she's just going to listen for the item. This map feels quite big when you first play it, but it's an incredibly small map. It feels big because of that teleporter there, but that's what makes it so tiny. This map is a really small map. With only a couple of small room corridors and the relatively small starting house you really realize it when you play it in 2v2 <laughs> how small this map is packing in four people onto this map or when you play six versus six clan arena on a random pub server that's incredible hot dog now that he's managed to pick up a lead and shipyard is sort of scratching away trying to pull back uh, some sort of control getting a good amount of damage out and not taking too much, but Hot Dog has those items, so probably has quite a good stack at this point. And any little bit of damage Hot Dog can do is going to help a lot. And just missing that armor. Being stood just to the side of it, taking a big old swig of rocket. Beautiful grenade right there. Potentially wouldn't have saved Shipyard to have that mega armor. Um, taking that direct hit from Hot Dog, but it would have taken the armor away from Hot Dog and made the next stage of this game a little bit easier for Shipyard. Being able to get in there and do a little, uh, needing to do a little bit less damage. But you can see that Hot Dog just has control and is playing casually, carefully with the control, able to hold on to the items, able to uh, bring everything back. The hot dog's playing absolutely fantastically right now. I'm 
landing these rockets, these direct rockets, are very difficult to land in Zenotic, even though you have quite a... Uh, some people would say that the ability to curve rockets is incredibly overpowered. But as you can see from Shipyard, not curving it around that wall and instead just shooting it straight into the wall. <laughs> um, no, the rocket in Zenotic moves quite slowly compared to a lot of other games. So, and especially compared to the movement speed of your opponent. And that ability to curve it is not going to help you in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So landing these direct rockets like Hot Dog is, is quite a difficult thing to do. If you're trying to get out of there, but he's just unable to get, uh, get, get the feet going, really. And again, just waiting around that mega armor. Oh no, my ears mishearing me there. Mega Armor must be up soon, otherwise Hot Dog wouldn't be around. And yeah, Shipyard has not got no idea when that Mega Health is. Shooting up there with uh, without the ability to see it. I've got no idea when it is either. Uh, it's a slight problem with casting off of these demos, but we have to put up with it because it's the best way to cast these games. But Shipyard trying to keep... Con Keep some end of control, but really hasn't been able to keep any type of control over this map. Hot Dog completely running rampant and not fragging super hard, which I think is a smart play, really. Hot Dog making, uh, making the play to sort of not push in constantly, like going to fall out here. Because he could lose control just by one frag. Going down once, this could lose Hot Dog the control. Unlikely to because of the item timings. Um, and he has managed to pick up that 50 armor straight off the bat, which is going to be oh, that beautiful movement. Very clean through there. Just a little left, right, left, right wiggle. Shipyard not down to a bad number of frags, but it is quite a lot of frags to pick up. Gonna have to very quickly gain control and then very quickly rack up the frags, which the way Hot Dog's playing um, just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. It's not been a particularly one-sided game. The scoreline may suggest that. And sort of the way that Shipyard's been forced to play does put it a bit one-sided. But Hot Dog's just played really well and not let Shipyard have any form of control at all. Which has meant that when Shipyard has tried to push in to regain control, it's just not happened. Like this, Shipyard's managed to get an item, managed to find the timing on the last one, managed to get an item. But Hot Dog's going to take a lot of damage out of them before Shipyard's going to be able to get a frag. But connecting that one frag is quite big. Now Hot Dog, you can see, he knows he's not got that long left. And this is the difference between having control at the start versus gaining control for a little bit during the end. You have to push now. Shipyard knows. Minute and a half left. I have to push. So, not got very much health. Have to push this one. Have to force the issue. Hot Dog doesn't have to do that. Hot Dog can regain control, chill out, and just go, I have more frags. And when the scoreline was even... Hot Dog had control and could just keep control, had, could just say, I can just keep control on this. I can focus on keeping control and the frags will come based on the control over time. When you've only got two, three minutes left, you have to push, which means that gaining control at those times, it forces you to play a different way. I always say that whatever the score is at half time, you can always change that you know there's always enough time to reverse the score line because if it's that way at five minutes you've got five minutes left so why don't just do it the other way um no matter how bad the score line is it's physically possible to do obviously it depends on the players whether it's actually going to happen but hey it's possible but the way ho the way it does end up playing out is that you're uh, 
your second half is going to be more difficult than your first half because you're forced you have to make those moves because if you lose control for 30 seconds that's 30 seconds that your opponent had that you didn't have and things like that so there it is shipyard goes down first map goes to hot dog 15 to 6 a close game with the control issues we'll be heading over to the second map so make sure to check that video out because i'm sure that that one is going to be just as good of a game and i've been promised a brilliant third game spoilers for the next game i've just realized that after i said it sorry about that but i've been promised a brilliant third game so thank you very much for watching and i will see you on the next one